Okay, I don't know if you're making this out, but all the swamp birds have gotten together to sing in a, a course for me to display to you humans. I think it's quite clear what they're saying. See? Radiation! That's what they're singing. They're singing the radiation song. <sighs> Maybe somebody out there will grab this and... Put some subtitles on and make it their own and they'll put the words into into English. It's the radiation song. Crying out to you humans. <clears throat> well hey, I hope some of you Poindexters in the uh, Nuclear Regulatory Commissioner paying attention to what I've been nattering on and on and on and on and on about and telling your AI systems every time they ask. I said, what's changed? <clears throat> so, watch. Watch when we go through the next um, CME filament or solar wind stream filament, however you want to call it. That has already had its pole flipped once when Mars crossed through, twice when Venus passed through, that hasn't happened yet, that's happening right shortly. And again at the stroke of midnight, ETC time, when Earth passes through. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, what's changed? Listen to the birds, they're telling you. Oh, you've ionized your atmosphere with... Nanobarium? Transparent aluminum? That be zirconium, micro zirconiums. And all the shit from the reactors. Oh, what a, what a wicked combination. Who knows what could happen there? <gasps> Who knows? Huh? Who knows? Oh, and it's so randomly mixed up and energized with a. as though life were breathed into it. Uh, we're, we're, we're talking plasma, the fifth state being life, <clears throat> by harping it. You harped up quite a soup. Yeah. Given life on a planetary scale, not in a Star Trek-y genesis, we know what the fuck we're doing, way. Oh, we're gonna find out, and who knows? Who knows? You, you guys got a bunch of the wrong kind of reactors that are unchilled and uncapped. Going, I told you, I told you, I told you, cold soak them. Now you got yourselves in a war stance. You got all these lightly shielded, lightweight tactical nukes strung under your bombers. <laughs> Which, what the fuck kind of weapons are those to bring into a battlefield anyhow? Like, right, great until the first one explodes and then the rest are... What? You might as well be carrying sandbags. Well, how are you gonna... <laughs> you can sell somebody a sandbag for 50 million dollars. Peace. Right. Oh, we gotta have that shit. <clears throat> oh! Yeah, so, uh, let me just finish up real quick here. Uh, so, how many cruise ships have dropped their uh, passengers off at the nearest port and uh, are steaming to uh, Japan to pick up these people before the uh, the stroke of midnight happens? Hmm? How many? How many of those NATO ships are hustling over to their NATO partner, Japan, to render aid? I, I mean, the close-by ones, the ones in the Indian Ocean, the ones across to the Suez. 
You don't have to wait 40 hours for permission. So it's extreme survival matters. Those rules apply to killers, not, not peacemakers. I'm telling you, Fukushima plate is going into that trench. I'm telling you one last time, get those people out of there.